All right, we're at 6949 Kennedy Avenue. Don't be a Grinch. Give the gift of a remote start for Christmas. Sounds like security. Open remote starters. Check out those rims in there. Boop, boop, boop. All your rims and everything. All your needs. All right, so we're coming in to visit Mario. It sounds like security. And we're gonna come back to these rims right over here. But this is my buddy Mario. We've known each other since high school. And how long have you been open for here? Uh, here in Indiana since 2006 of June. And oh, I that's actually, right. You were on the east side. Yeah, I was on the east side. I brought the shop from the east side. And on the east side, I was at uh, April of uh, 1999. 1999. Right Jules. What year is it right now? 2021, 2022. He's been doing this for a long time. And that's what shows about the quality of workmanship because he's still in business. We didn't even talk about the boats or the RVs that he could do also. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to come in because, you know, I'm a, I'm a techie. I love electronic stuff. And he does all the installations of the stereos, the speakers, the car alarms, and, and these right over here. We can start with over here. All right, so I'm editing here. I'm going to take you to the car alarms first, and then I'm going to show you all the stereo stuff. These remote starts he has are unreal. The remote starts he has, because I got mine for my, my, my factory one on my van, and it, I got to be probably within eight houses, ten houses maybe, to get my remote start going. My wife has a, a factory one that uh, we could do from inside the movie theater. Now these are his remote start systems that he has right here. Okay, with the remote starts, uh, you want somebody that knows how to hook it up. That's not going to be cutting. You're, you're, you're done cutting splicing, right? Yeah, a lot, we, we, a lot of stuff now. They're, they're, they're now what's available for some of these vehicles, especially the the Hyundai's, the new vehicles that are a little more harder to work on. They're coming out with T harnesses, and it's basically so it's less evasive. And you basically you don't you don't cut none to nothing. You just tie up this harness that looks pretty factory. You unplug certain factory plugs, and it's got the reverse plug to make everything so easy. So this also cuts our installation time, guys. Cars that used to take five six hours can now take up to an hour. All right. So so see in something like that. So now if you got your your homeboy down the street that he's not gonna come out with something no, like that. No, they don't have this. He's he's, for stores. he's gonna be cutting into your factory system and that's what you don't want i'm telling you with these new electronics you do you do not want that you pay the you pay the cost to have the know that you're going to start start it and it's going to start i have one more question and for it's you not that much 65 bucks for for the public out there so okay. to save your car from thousands and thousands of dollars in damage 65 dollars guys yeah 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 that's just so but when you when you're, you got to understand when you're installing electronics in your system you don't want to cut and hack because that whoever's going to cut and hack is going to if they short something out they're not licensed bonded and insured like a shop and i can guarantee you like a shop when they put your system and everything together it's going to look like you're driving it off of the lot brand new it's not going to look like this little piece of plastic is out here this this uh what is it the vent is cracked a little bit off kilter it's not going to be like that now with these uh alarm systems uh this is the cream of the crop, so we'll come to this one right here. But oh, let me. This is why I wanted to ask you. The Kia boys are still in all these Kias with the. Yeah. So basically, a, a lot of the Hyundai's and Kias, they just have like your traditional straight ignition guys. So pretty much, these kids have now put on YouTube or out on the social medias how to steal these cars. So they were doing it with the USB. It, yeah. Technically, I don't want to go out and yeah. tell people you can technically stick a screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not. You don't even have to use a USB. So yeah. they passed that video on, and guess what? Everybody's car started coming up missing. Okay. So we were real busy this summer putting starter kills, starter disable, and Hyundai's and Kias. See, you know? I didn't even know you could do that. But if you're going to go that route to put that, you might can well you replace put, it with yes. the remote start? You might as well put an alarm with remote start. He, Rob is correct. Okay, so so because uh, with the Hyundai's, my wife got a remote start on hers or whatever. She got the blinking light, so I knew that they're not going to target this one because they know there's an aftermarket. But if you're paying for the starter kill, that's the perfect time for you to put a remote start in. Now, what's the difference on these remote starts right here? All right, so basically these are uh, sister and uh, father company. Viper is basically a conglomerate company of DEI, which now has been purchased by Vox International. And they came out with an excellent product here that is designed for all the push to starts. 
Okay, so know? this is for the push. The people who push the start don't think that you cannot get a remote start on it. And and remote start, we're in the, we're going winter over here. We need it. Believe me, when I get out of my car, I leave my heat on high and my heat all the way up, and I let that sucker run for twenty minutes. Okay, so with your push, these are push the starts right here, right? This correct, is what you need correct. for that. Yeah, this I can work your factory key fob to do a three time motion three time on the lock button to start up your car. And I could set the time anywhere from five minutes, guys, all the way to an hour or anything in between. Okay, to, to, to run, to warm up your car. I gotta do my van since it's factory two 10 minutes. I gotta do two 10 minute times, but it won't, it don't stay for an hour. So you could, you could program these. Absolutely, and that's for the convenience for the people that wanna keep it simple. I still have your traditional people like me and Rob that wanna go the next step further and add this to the push to starts. This will allow you to basically see what's going on with the vehicle. It'll respond back and forth like a two-way pager, a communicator, and it'll tell you how long is left on the car. Did you leave your door open? You know, uh, is the remote starter on? So this is basically a two-way communicator that gets added onto your keychain and you can add it to the, the new systems. Also. See, that's pretty, this is pretty tight. Now this is the piece, with piece de resistance over here. This is what I came to look at over here. So, so CompuStar has been around and they entered the game and uh, a lot of the uh, places that kind of ignored it in the earlier years. They were a, a good system back then. They were just a little more complicated and not installer friendly. Uh, the company has advanced drastically and now they're the big, uh, how do you say it? They're the, one of the top companies out there right now. It's just either Vox or CompuStar pretty much. And um, uh, CompuStar now makes pretty sophisticated systems that are like two-way driven with crazy distance. This is three mile range right here, guys, three miles. So can you imagine if three, you want some? Yeah, if you're at the fest, if you're at the fair, if you're getting off the airplane, you got your car there parked you in, in the lot. I mean, that, that's how, like, when you're flying in and it's 13 degrees, we just flew in, it was 13 degrees. Right. And there's no way I could have started my van from right. inside the airport. You work at the hospital, you work at Amazon, you work at the prison, and they make you park somewhere else where they have to bus you yeah. to your job site. Here it is, guys. You work at BP and they have to bus you to your job site. Well, distance right here is going to cover it. Yeah, this now this is the one that you said has the, uh, the telephone. The telephone. The, you, you could, how does that work? It's an app? So, so basically, yeah, it's a device that gets added on to the system that I basically asked the user, the owner, that we're gonna install in it. I asked you for your email, what phone service provider you're using, and your cell phone number. And we program it to the device in here. And bingo, you're now able to start it from your telephone. From your, from your telephone, that th uh, this is insane. This is CompuStar, and it has all the same thing, like if, is it like where if somebody's, your alarm's going off or yes, anything like that? Yes, so this is a full featured system. So this is full feature, meaning like security, convenience, remote start, technology, distance, all wrapped up in one item, man. Every, everything in one. So th this is this is pretty sweet. All right, so is there anything else we got here? Anything? Okay. It's gonna go off. Okay, his alarm's gonna go off right now. We're gonna ed edit this so, in right so here. So this is also They're the gonna... convenience of the paging system. The paging system, I right now, Rob asked me for the keys for the car. I thought I hung them up. I couldn't find them, but I said the I told the coworker to go outside, and he's setting my, he's setting it off. So not only is the alarm going off outside, so when you're sitting somewhere and somebody's messing with your car, it's ringing on his alarm to let him know that, hey, your alarm's going off. But not only that, at night, it, yeah, I hear it going. How far is the range does that have about? Uh, a mile. A mile, that has a mile range on your car. It's, All right. it's also good for shoppers. If your wife leaves the husband in the car or vice versa, she could page you and say, hey, I'm ready. Let me hit the car. Come get me. So, That's pretty awesome. All right, we gotta start this video here. Now, what are these over here that you have? Because I, I, these caught my eye just coming through the door. So basically, there was a trend that was going around. People want to put lights on everything. These are the lights that go inside the uh, behind the wheels. Uh, they get attached uh, around the, the brake caliper. Uh, it comes with a, a, a you know a, a kit that basically gets uh, attached to the back and uh it comes with a uh, remote control where you can uh, change the color oh you can change oh, yeah, the color i was just that was the question i was no, asking can yeah, you change you, the color on these yeah you can get pretty creative and get it to strobe you can get it to do multiple colors you can get it to do uh that right? it's insane to me that it could spin but it'll be lit up when it's spinning this is not yeah. just to sit on the side and everything's now app driven by a phone so guess what guys your remote control is your phone app Okay. So pretty, pretty technology, you know, pretty cool advanced technology. Now this is pretty awesome. I'm coming over here, and this is on sale, on sale. 
this is custom made, right? Yeah, so this is a custom fiberglass enclosure uh, that houses two 12 inch speakers. Uh, it's basically designed for uh, somebody that wants to go to the next level of showing off uh, uh, the beauty of a box. So this is fiberglass. You can paint it any color you want. If you want to get creative. Okay. And, uh, this is a sealed enclosure. This is an imported enclosure. So you could control the base a little bit more on a sealed enclosure. But look at that wall right there. This is insane. This is something he just taught me today. What what happened? This is a JVC, all right? I used to love JVC back in the day. Now, what happened with JVC? Yeah, How we so came JVC up merged with Kenwood. They, they're basically in the same family group now. Kenwood and JVC are uh, it's a shared company. They're, they're doing uh, similar stuff together. So basically now you're buying JVC, JVC's Kenwood. Kenwood's okay. JVC. You know? Now these are 12s, right? 12s, yeah, 12s. That, now somebody could come in and say, hey, you know what, I just want to put some sub, I want to put some bass in my system. This is a, a grab and go, you could put Su this yep, in right super here. affordable, $99, gets you a 1800 watt max sub, 350 RMS. So essentially a 800 watt amp, 700 watt amp will run these two, very efficient. And, and, and pretty loud. It's gonna sound, yeah, it's gonna sound yeah. really good. This, this is pretty awesome. Now this is the Alpine one. Alpine when I was growing up was always out of my uh, my, my pocket range here. <laughs> so Alpine still holds a, a name on, on its own, meaning that it's still up there, it's, uh, it's quality. Uh, Alpine, when they put their name on something, they, they, they pretty much go all out. They engineer it real nice and precise. They do some serious testing. Uh, this for example is the Type S, which is their middle line. Uh, that subwoofer is a 12 inch subwoofer that holds 600 watts RMS. You might not think it's a lot, but it yeah, actually no, six, is. RMS is a it's lot. See, this a lot, is you know? 350 RMS for this. So, so this 600. would be double. RMS is just what it can take constantly, what it can take constantly. And then peak is, you shouldn't push it no more than that. Every now and then it can hit that peak. But this doubles this in, in RMS, in what it can run constantly. So, I mean, of course, you're going to pay the cost for that because that's Alpine. That's an Alpine brand. I couldn't afford it when I was younger. I probably still can't afford it now. But either way, if you're serious about your sound and your competition, this is the grade you want to step up to. Okay, now this right here is the kicker. That's a 15 or a 12? 15. That's a bigger diameter. So what right here, what Rob is pointing out is basically a CVX. It's the same power rating as a square speaker. So kicker still holds the patent for the square speakers. Uh, the CVX is pretty much your traditional round speaker that holds the same power as a square speaker. This holds a, a thousand watts RMS. 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 A, a thousand watts RMS. Yeah, yeah, that thing can get down. That, that thing can get down pretty low and loud. <laughs> you know. Okay, now something like this. I mean, it's it's for for what I used to be back in the day a bass head. I don't know if you remember yes. me, but I used to be a bass head back in the day, and that's just because I mean, just love that sound. You love you love him. You feel two three blocks down, you know somebody's coming. That's for the 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 big time bass heads right here. Now no new thing he was showing me that. Who was that kicker actually went through some tech kicker been around for a while and the people with them pickup trucks the people with them pickup trucks kicker developed a square speaker that's going to give you awesome sound like a regular full-size box like a regular full-size box that you can fit in your pickup truck right there okay but now what's going on with that one right yeah, there so this is their slim design this is designed to fit underneath the seats of like a 2014 Chevy Silverado. So basically there's a, 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 a spot underneath your seat that's basically nothing. It holds maybe a spare jack. You can eliminate the jack. This will slide right in there. This comes rhino lined or carpeted. Okay. Obviously here in the Midwest, people like the rhino line. Yeah. It looks yeah, more yeah. durable. That's if what it, it was. I was wondering what it was coated yeah, with. If it gets wet, guess what? You're fine. And we're yeah. in the Midwest, people kick snow on it. You'll be fine. Okay. And this pretty much right here, this produces 1500 watts of power 750 watts each speaker easily easily and that's sitting behind you in the chair i mean you're feeling that as you're driving down the road when the oh, base yeah. is hitting right there that's pretty damn awesome and another thing he was showing me about was the the difference in how they came up with the technology of the slimline speakers yeah so this is basically a pioneer pioneer speaker but the design of the speaker everybody nowadays are going with a thin speaker why there's no room in yeah. some of these new cars that you know especially the trucks yeah so everyone's going what they call the uh, the uh, car audio name that we gave these speakers are the pancake style okay why it's pretty much a thin speaker you know I mean yeah compared to your traditional your, yeah. average speaker yeah no, um, but it's given the same kind of bass yes 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 
uh, providing you go with like a good quality speaker, you know, uh, Kicker has 50 years of engineering. Okay. Uh, and they put a lot of uh, engineering into the thin wall speakers. Uh, recently, re they released it, and uh, I know they were the first ones to come out with the squares, right? The you squares, said they patented yeah. it. Yeah, they they got a patent on the square speakers. Okay, and I still haven't. I heard one get down today because we're gonna get to over there in a little bit. I heard a square speaker get down today, and I don't want him to get uh, yelled at by all his neighbors here. But that thing was getting down over there. Okay, so this is the kicker one, but also he does motorcycles. He could do a boat. He could do an RV. He could golf do a cart. pontoon golf cart. Whatever you want to trick out you're gonna come here and this is this is what you pay for i tell everybody you pay for the quality like even if you go to a mechanic i go to the dealership because when that thing is buttoned up and put back together or taken out you want it like the factory like nothing was disturbed like it belongs there so with the motorcycle guys arc audio is a motorcycle guy he was telling me about these arc audios that it'll sound like a car stereo system but on your motorcycle yeah, so Arc Audio's put a lot of development. They have a great team of uh, engineers that engineered a whole line just for motorcycles, your golf cars, pretty much your outdoor vehicles. Uh, right here, what I'm holding right here is a six and a half inch high performance compression driver. Basically, in, in basic English, it's a loud six and a half inch speaker. This is, it's blaring out loud sound, clear. And uh, what you see in the middle is actually a compression driver. This with power and wattage produces tremendous sound see and that i didn't know about those so i'm gonna have to uh to come back and look into those because i would love to see how those sound installed into something behind it looks like a tr your traditional speaker you know what i mean so it's obviously coded for the elements for weather in your holly davidson the front you're looking like wow it's missing a piece no actually that's a compression low uh loaded driver right in the middle that's gonna blare out some loud music coming out of it so for all you motorcycle guys that want it it's 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 the, it's the quality that comes now we're working our way to big mama over here but before we get to the big mama over here these are all the these are uh dual and tri axle speakers or yeah these are full range right yep, yep. full these... range component speakers so we they come like what mike uh what uh rob said coaxial and also a component which is a mid bass driver with a tweeter and a crossover okay now this right here we're looking at these because i'll go with the tvs first this is a flip down tv that can be tethered to your dash this is a double din dash oh this one goes in and out right how yes, do you make yes. that go so, in and out so pretty much this and it'll, it'll hide back inside okay that's uh okay we'll uh, open that one up we'll go at the that's that right there we're opening that up right there and you think it's just a little radio and then it retracts completely out i actually right now is moving with the settings guys and you'll you can adjust it to however your the glare oh your dash okay is. the glare that's what that's for you know what I mean? okay the glare on your dash you can also tie in a backup camera guys so any 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 radio with the screen you can tie a backup camera to it so right now it's got the reverse image of me and rob in the background Oh, that's pretty neat. That's what that is right yep, there. Yep. And right. that'll you'll mount that in the car. Yep. And and so so your radio is your backup camera. And I, you know what? As much as I said, what do they need those for? Those are so convenient when you're backing up. So this right here is mirrored into the big fold down for your kids. You have your kids. Mine's are older, but we did have a little. What was it a, a relay a saturn relay with the dvd player to smoke it was like this in the you know behind the seat so the kids are like this watch it but when it played through the whole stereo now all these play through the whole stereo right oh, yeah absolutely you wired these through the whole stereo and they could do the flip downs but those are going to be dependent upon if you got to take the whole headliner down or whatever how much it's going to entail the work now these i was in high school i had two of these that's what i had two of those when well, i'm not in high school but uh when I was a bass head, my bass head phase, I had two of these in a Saturn SL2, okay? And this is a cap right here, but how much watts is that Hyphonics? So the Hyphonics right here is basically, uh, Hyphonics has made its way back to the, uh, back to today's modern era. So they've uh, um, came back and they're pretty popular. So we team up the Hyphonics with the kicker uh, products, the kicker subwoofers. This right here that I, that uh, Rob is pointing out is a 1200 watt Brutus. kicker. Brutus, Brutus yeah. traditional Brutus power, guys. So this is what made its name back in the day, and guess what? It's back again. This gives you a raw of 1200 watts of real power, guys. When I say real, they test these amps out. They're uh, you know they're kind of underrated. Uh, this one right here, we have it to uh, we call Mother Big Earth. Mama. Oh, Mother Earth. And this is a 12 inch kicker solo barrack square, guys. It's uh, made in an oversized enclosure. The port's on the side. 
This will produce basically uh, lows is down to under 50 hertz easily. Ugh. It could probably go down to 40 hertz uh, with the right tool. How much watts was, is that pushing right there? A uh, thousand watts. A thousand watts. Easily. <sighs> now, yeah. is this hooked up to the cap or no? This is just straight so, in here. So, yeah, we, we have it just to, to meter the, 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 uh, the voltage that's behind on a gel battery. So, if you see, you got 13.7. And that's what today's modern day okay. vehicles, you know. So quickly, we're gonna we're gonna take the we're gonna exit out of the movie mode, and we're gonna go just to radio, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, show what Mother Earth, you know. It's gonna sound a little different on on, on yeah. a video clip, guys, than than real life, but the speaker can get down, you know. So, yeah, yeah. It can really... that, that thing is bad. You know, here's one thing that guys, uh, guy, you know, guys that are driving around, you're driving around with this and with this, and these are awesome. These are awesome. But this is next level audio we're talking about because you can pair this with a little amp and you think you're moving. But this, out of all my amps I had, I had Sony amps, I had uh, Hyphonix amps, I had, what was that, that cheap one from the flea market brand? I can't think of it. Acoustic. Acoustic. I had acoustic and power acoustics. I used to love those until I got my Brutus. Now you want to go to next level, get yourself a Hyphonix Brutus, but not only the Brutus, get yourself a cap or a battery. Because let me tell you what the cap and the battery does on your system. You're constantly hitting the bass, boom, 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 boom. Well, if you just got a regular car battery, that battery can't keep up with the constant bass notes. It starts to drain and drain and drain and drain. Well, your extra batteries and your extra caps, they're there to store power, just to store raw power. So when your bass and your harmonics are hitting that constant bass, these right here is where that base is coming from your stored power and then your alternator is recharging everything but if you want to go to next level audio with something like this you have mario hook you up with a hyphonics brutus and a cap or a battery and your vehicle is going to outshine a lot of the other vehicles out there all right you see me got me excited over talking oh, about yeah, that oh yeah, oh yeah. So, yeah so music is a passion once people get a taste of the what we call the sound bug yeah you know, yeah music yeah it's pretty addictive it, it's, I mean? it's 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 you just want louder you want more bass you want more power but this is another thing that i'm going to go on then we're going to get out of here but anything else that oh tinning window tinning you do yes, tinning yes. still the, the, the tinning we try to keep it all kind of uh, uh weather related so i like to tell our customers to visit for the best possible tint jobs april through august okay. which is uh more suitable for for tinning okay and uh right now in the winter time we we like to concentrate and stay with the remote starts yeah the remote starts because I mean, a lot of people say they want remote starts and they don't know where to go or they say that this this is a place to come for your remote starts and they do the hid lights for all you that want to blind old people like me driving they do the hid lights they'll install them really bright, bright lights for you here all right so either way sounds like security what's the address of phone number 6949 kennedy avenue suite a we're located right next door to Vito's Pharmacy. We share the same building and property and parking lot as Vito's Pharmacy. And we're here in the Hammond Hessville area. The Hammond Hessville area. Telephone number 219-844-5501. Like us on Facebook. Uh, we are here Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday is 9 to 3. All right, if you need a remote start or a stereo or this Brutus put in, you need to come here. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye.